my channel and as y'all see by the title um today's just gonna be a talk through video again of my nail one-on-one series and basically what i'm talking about today is just gonna be how to get clientele how to bring in clientele how i brought in clientele so remember when i'm telling y'all and doing these videos it's pretty much my advice you know it's 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 all stuff that you know i can offer to you as a upcoming nail tech or as a nail tech because you can always use you know knowledge especially when you're in the beauty industry nail trends are always changing a lot of stuff change whether you do nails hair lashes there's always a trend to come out that needs to be done there's always something that you could be taught no matter how many years you've been in business no matter how many people you've taught you can always learn something new of course, as you guys know, I did launch my Big Entrepreneur website, which gives you guys all kind of planners and just all kind of different stuff. It, the website is going to be basically, it's basically to help any and everybody. It's not just for entrepreneurs, but you know, I am an entrepreneur, so it's Big Entrepreneur Co. Um, and basically, I have three different planners that can help you. I have a content planner, which I'm about to show y'all. This is how I plan out my videos, y'all. Like, no joke. I really be on it like I don't do anything without planning so that's another thing if you're trying to be consistent and stuff like that you need to plan I gained like 300 subscribers what? like I'm now at like what a almost 890 no not 890 I'm almost at 860 I'm almost at like 860 subscribers and I started back getting consistent in January make sure you guys go check out big entrepreneur code the link will be in the bio go check out all the planners um they're very beneficial I also have a ways to make nail uh, money as a nail take I also have um, a client record sheet I also have daily notepad templates um I have a products list I'm not gonna lie y'all that's my biggest seller the products list is literally the if this one thing I keep getting notifications for is that product list y'all better go get it because I literally dropped a gem a good gem on where y'all can get all your charms from especially the new ones I literally posted these charms just what three days ago and orders was literally coming in because everybody was like where'd you get them how are you finding the, the newer stuff being the trending stuff that product list is gonna help you a lot so go grab that anyway it's more and more and more stuff to come so just stay tuned let's just get into the video you know i had to promote my brand because if i don't promote it who gonna promote it right today's topic is going to be how to bring in clientele as a nail tech so basically here are just my tips sorry this chair is so wobbly but here are my tips and just here are some things that i basically did to you know bring in my clientele i am now what i think i'm going into i'm at year six this year i started in 2017 when i was in high school and i'm about to be 22 this year i cannot believe i'm about to be 22 y'all it's not old but it made me feel old because what but yeah so basically all i had to what i had to start with was word of mouth because you know when you tell people oh i want to do something people are not as supportive of it you know what i'm saying like you can you can say you want to do something all day but until you start doing it that's when people like start to believe in you so i also want to say word of mouth word of mouth is only number one because my dad had kind of was telling my dad also told me uh like what a year ago word of mouth is literally the biggest and best way to get your name out there good reviews good customer service so let's just take me back to the beginning I started in my mom's garage. I was in high school. I didn't have a suite. I wasn't even thinking about a suite or a salon. Um, my cousin was cutting hair in his dad's garage. And so I started in my mom's garage. I um, used an Amazon card that she bought me. It had $100 on it. So I bought what I could get with the $100. And then, you know, of course, I added on to it. Um, I was working at Publix at the time, which my checks were so small because if you know, you know. Publix don't really give hours, like especially when I was in high school. They was in, yeah, we ain't gonna talk about that. But I added what I had to add to it. I think the first, I did buy my first like little, this, like this little pink drill. Um, if you're a beginner, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, if I find a picture, I'm gonna put it on the screen. But this little pink drill I bought. And I think I used it for like a month or two, maybe. And then it stopped working. But kid you not, I was doing my own nails like every week. 
so you know i just started posting on facebook um i wasn't big on instagram at all um so i just started posting on facebook i had did like my first set my job I was on freestyles for 30 dollars. it was anything you can get 30 dollars, like 35 dollars, maybe and i'm talking about i'm snapping like well for then for the time that i started i was snapping on those like you couldn't tell me i wasn't doing my big one like so i started posting on facebook and like people like every video i was posting was getting a thousand views in a day like i'm talking the videos was just going up mind you when i first started doing nails in my city we had maybe like three like black nail techs maybe um i was the youngest one at the time but we definitely had like a solid good like three nail techs here um in gainesville and so it was just like okay this girl in high school she's you know she's trying to do nails and she's actually doing a very good job so i was just posting i was posting on facebook trying to get my name out there telling people i had appointments available so after school i'm trying to get to the bag like and i didn't want to work at Publix no more but the way my mom like raised me was just you know you need a job you need money you need to you know you need to make something of yourself i can't do i can't do two set of nails in a full time of six months and I had no job. What money was you making? So she made me keep my job until I graduated. But I did. I, did. I kept my job till I graduated. So I was doing nails. I was trying to get as many clients as I can. Mind y'all, when I first started, it was taking me like... Hold on. I swear it took me like six hours one time. I, six hours one time to do my nails. My cousin will tell you it took me a long time. I don't see how long my mama would say it took me. How long would you say when I first started, it took me to do a full set of nails? I just said you said six hours, right? Uh, about six, eight hours. Oh, you said hours. Oh, I thought you said six hours. I was gonna say, I swear to God, one set I feel like it took me six hours, but it didn't take me six hours. It took me six hours to do my own nails, but yeah, it took me some hours, y'all, to do a set of nails. Like, I probably had one person out there for about, about three, four hours at least. And I could only do like two people after school because of how long it took me. Yeah, it was. I had to get my time up. And plus, no client want to sit there while you, you know, like don't nobody want to sit there all day. So in order to get your clientele up, you do have to work on your speed. You can't just start out and be having everybody in up for four hours because you're not going to make no money. We kind of got off track a little bit, but yeah. So the next thing is you got to talk to your clients. I think the reason why I got good word of mouth and the reason why like, I didn't really have because I don't I don't I think I've only maybe had two like two bad reviews that I know about that were really brought to my attention like um, when I first started and people were super nice about it like when I when I first started I knew that the nails weren't gonna last as long um, I'm not you know I'm not that like I'm not that good at it yet so I, I did have one person um, that I had to refund or whatever but not really like bad reviews everybody was like you're so polite you're so nice i made people feel comfortable because when people are coming to your home they don't know where they're coming to so if you are a home tech comfortability is probably going to be like a one-up that you would have on other people um simply because you have to make people feel welcome you can't you can't be like reserved too much you know what i'm saying you have to talk to your clients because if you don't their nail appointment is going to be boring um, unless you got a really good show on because even me like now I've been binge watching The Rookie almost all of my clients for the last two weeks have texted me saying like I went home and watched that show I loved it I, you know what I'm saying and we still had conversations in between so it's like even if I don't feel like talking or I'm not in the best mood I always make up for it with a good TV show so that's another thing talk to your clients if you want them to come back you want to you want to get to know your clients like even when i did freestyles when i started doing freestyles even though freestyles are fully made up and you know i have full control i still ask what are you comfortable with because people really might not know how they want their nails but they don't want you to go too crazy you know what i'm saying and that's why i started doing client freestyles versus my freestyles my freestyles is somebody who really don't care what goes on their nails which means i could go completely crazy a client freestyle is somebody who this is their style and this is what they want you to freestyle on you have to you got to be willing to meet in the middle with your clients because then when they realize okay you know you care and you're accommodating them they'll come back every time i'm telling you take my advice take my advice i'm telling you um okay i went over had uh oh mm, open availability this is probably the best this is probably the best one i can give y'all open availability right 
because up until about 2020, 2020, so as I say, I started in 2017, the end of 2020, I kid you not, I was working like a dog. Like, y'all, my mindset, and my mindset is still like this, but I've realized the importance of like, you know, not burning yourself out. But y'all, I kid you not, I used to, seven days a week, Start doing that at 7 in the morning. I'm not going home till 1 or 2 in the morning. I'm talking about getting to a bag. My mind was bag season. My mind was like always on, you know, this is your living. You got to be available. So you could say I was like an on-call nail tech, even though I had a website, even though I had like, you know, people booking and I had, a, I had it all written down. Like, okay, this is this, this is that. And I would still have people calling me, hey, can I come? Yep, you're going to have to come. You know, it's going to be a little late. You know, I'm letting them know, hey, can you come? I'm getting up a little early in the morning. And this was seven days a week. I didn't have no off days. So if you really trying to trying to get your stuff out there, you gotta be that nail tech that's available all the time. Whether you're a nail tech, a lash tech, a hairstylist, you gotta be available all the time. Cause I kid you not, I was really in the shop from seven in the morning to one or two in the morning. Like I'm talking about a couple hours of sleep, I'm back up and I'm back at it, get into a bag. Like, you just, you got to be motivated like that. And the thing is, I was really burnt the fuck out. That's just the reality of it. I was burned out. Like, it was like, I had no social life. And and honestly, I'm not that person that had to go out. I, but I'm not going to lie to not start going out and really living like that until 2021. And, you know, normally when you graduate high school, that's all you want to do is live. Like, everybody else around me, they going out to the club every other weekend. Me, baby, I'm home sleep. Y'all at the club, I'm just leaving the shop at 2 in the morning on a Saturday because people need their nails done. Like, I I just wasn't, I was not thinking that way. I wasn't, like, you know, trying to do all that. But I know now that, you know, you do have to take a break from work sometimes and you got things to do in life. But me, I missed everything, y'all. Like, and I mean everything. I missed everything. Unless it was, like, my sister's birthday, yeah, I missed it. I think even in that, then, like, I remember I got my nails done in... 2020 I think yep I got my nails done in 2020 I still came to work on my birthday I think was it my birthday or was it the day the day before my birthday I got my nails done two days before my birthday I'm in here working and normally like the me now that I am if I do my nails for an event I'm not working up until that event like if, if it's my event or something like that like I want my nails to be fresh they gotta be laid because everybody always looking at my nails because they know I'm a nail tech so it's like I'm always that, like, you know, I'm always thinking like that. But, um, yeah, now it's a little bit different. But, yeah, before I was talking about, I was working on my birthday. I have my birthday. I'll be back at work the next day. I did not take no breaks. It was no days off. You can't have days off. You can't afford days off when you're trying to, you know, build a business or even trying to get somewhere in business. You got to be willing to work. And that's another thing. I think people just see, oh, you know, so and so's booked up. I'm now six years in and I still have good and bad months. That's always gonna happen. Like it's always gonna happen. Even if I have all good months for the like rest of this year, January might be a bad month. Like it just happens. So don't be discouraged when you see somebody's posting that they're booked up, but there are ways to keep yourself booked up. You just gotta be willing to put in the work. Like I still feel like I don't do everything I can to stay booked up because I don't pass out my cards. I my daddy passes out my cards. My daddy takes more cards when I order my cards in bulk than I do because he passes out my cards more than me. I have people all the time. One lady invites me on Facebook and was like, your dad is like your biggest fan. Like, and to be honest, he does. He passes out my cards and he gets on to me all the time. But I think I have social anxiety when it comes to being out in public and talking to people because I gave someone my card one time in Bath and Body Works and I was freaked out because she knew who I was and she was from Texas. Like... She recognized my work. She had said, like, when she had moved down here, even before she moved down here, she had been wanting to book with me and stuff like that. And then, like, people in the store was looking at us and, like, her coworkers, like, they had stopped bringing people up to get my card. And, and it's like, I'm glad that I'm getting to pass out my cards, but the me and, like, the, the anxiety in me was just like, I'm ready to get out the store. I, I don't like talking. So it is hard, and that is on my goal this year to start passing out my business cards. But if you can, pass out your cards because they work. My daddy has gotten me a lot of healthcare workers just by passing out my cards. So I will say that. Pass them cards out. Okay, what's next? Remember your clients. 
this is a this is a big one and i know some people are gonna be like you know i have too many clients remember your clients i remember my clients at one point you could literally show me someone's nails and i could say oh i did so and so's nails i could tell you their name it's different you you know what i'm saying you're not gonna remember everybody but my clients especially the ones who come back first name basis and i have their names saved in my phone i don't i don't do my first time clients i don't save their names in my phone but when you come back to me yeah i have your name saved in my phone so when you text me i know to respond right then and there i know that okay she might need something like plus you know regulars always get the better treatment i'm sorry to say but regulars they can text me at any time of the day it don't even got to be in a professional setting and i will respond because we have built a bond we've built a relationship you know other people i got to keep it professional so it's like it's a benefit it's not a benefit but you know i got to keep it professional so i'm not going to text you back at 10 o'clock at night because that looks unprofessional on my part but my regulars we're here like we we know each other yeah so yeah just remember to remember your clients you know what i'm saying like my clients will tell me a story and i'll remember when they come back two weeks and now we're talking about the same story or she's giving me the ent of what the story was like you just gotta you gotta know um offer loyalty cards you guys offer a loyalty card so i offer my clients loyalty cards i don't remember with every client i will say that because i don't have them on my table it works basically like say you give them a card just like you will your business card and you put like seven holes on it so my loyalty card basically says after you get your seventh full set i'll give you 50 percent off and the girls eat that up every time like i have them they bring their cards back some people do forget to bring their cards back but they bring their cards back i do their nails and i save it that's a great strategy if you're trying to get consistent clientele also and the main key points of this was for you guys to bring in your clientele the main things you need to know is having your open availability especially if you're just starting you need to be available for people to book you you can't be one of those stylists that come in at 12 and try to be gone by five it ain't gonna work so you're going to have to come in at from eight to five or eight to six like me my thing is open i think it starts from nine to six o'clock and then i have like the after hours so i'm still on the clock if i need to be it's just a little bit extra because honestly you do burn yourself out trying to be up at seven in the morning and then you're leaving at you know one and two and when you could have made a little bit more money than what you were making but i'm not gonna lie when i when i was doing that i don't think i was charging nothing over about like 70 or 80 dollars for nails when i was doing and most of the sets was rounding out to about 65 dollars. i know that for a fact in 2020 i think i started raising my prices in like 2021 as like all these notes like all the trends started evolving a little bit more that's when i raised my prices but then i don't think i was charging nothing more over 80 dollars unless i had to do soak offs and all that type of stuff and i was burned out but i'm not gonna lie i was getting to the bag you couldn't tell me at the time that i was getting to the bag like people had to tell me to chill out like hey you can't be in here all day you know what i'm saying but in my mind that's I didn't care when you're trying to in that mode like when you're you're yeah you just be in that mode but yeah okay so open availability talking to your clients have interesting conversations if you're not an interesting person you don't think your clients are interesting put on a good tv show they will appreciate it I'm, i promise um providing a good service i don't even know if i talked about that but when you provide a good service people are going to want to come back to you um and sometimes they don't but it don't even have nothing to do with you maybe it's just your prices but don't ever not charge what you're worth because you worry about somebody not coming back. Don't do that. Charge what you're worth every time because at the end of the day, you have to make a living off this. If you don't have a like a nine to five, this is like my nine to five. I'm an entrepreneur. This is what I do. So you got to remember that you have to take care of you. So if you, as long as you're providing a good service, you should not feel bad about charging with your worth, what you're worth. Um, and that comes with longevity, that comes with quality, like use quality crystals. They don't have Swarovskis anymore. We can't purchase those um, unless you get them inside a store, but they do have like Preciosa, they have Serenity crystals and stuff like that. So you need to be using top of the line. Your, your um, charms need to be up to date, you guys. You guys need good products, quality products. And that's a big thing, you know what I'm saying? You can manipulate the system. You don't have to go and buy every person's product line because I used to try to do that. I, every time somebody came out with a nail line, acrylic line, I used to always be like, oh, I wanna try it, I wanna try it. Until I did that and it literally beat me in my behind because I bought and I spent my money on products that suck. That's when I was like, you gotta do what works for you. Get you some good quality products and stick to it. 
I experiment every now and then, but for the most part, some of the stuff that I use now and that are in my product list, I've been using and testing for six years. And I will tell you this, my clients don't ever have problems with their diamonds falling off. They always got longevity with their nails. I've been having clients come back to me within a month or two months. That's just how it works. Once you put in that time and you get your, you know, your skill level up and your time down and you're shaping right and you good, like you're good since you can, you can, you can charge what you want to charge. So charge your worth, but provide a great service. Um, hand out your cards. Don't be like me. Hand out your cards. Promote to you guys. Got to promote good photos. If 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 you don't promote, if you don't promote, how how's anybody going to know that you're available? Like, I can't tell y'all how many times I've posted. I've been nothing to do all day, and I posted. I got a, a one p.m. or a three p.m. Or, and somebody takes spot post y'all have to post um me personally i don't do facebook like that anymore it's just it's just not for me we're not even gonna get into all that but the facebook in my city in my area posting your work on facebook don't really do you no good and honestly instagram to me is where you're unbiased i mean people are gonna drop their opinions in your comments but honestly i would really say post on instagram tiktok that type of stuff you need these platforms to showcase your work you want to show that you do good work also post on like even if you just post it on your story because i know now a lot of stuff is about aesthetics so people don't really post like oh when people's nails are a month old post those on your story though put them in your highlights like people want to see hey if i pay a hundred dollars to get my nails done am i gonna get a hundred dollars out of these nails like can she get her hair done three times and still have on some good quality nails? Because that's what they want. That's what the girls are trying to get to. So honestly, if you don't post, nobody's gonna come to you. And that's just the, the day and age that we live in. We're in a time where social media is at its prime. Like everything goes through social media. You can make money off social media. So post, that's, that's the best advice I can give you about posting because you're not gonna be able to promote yourself if you don't. Make sure you drop your website link in comments. Make sure you put, um, make sure you put your link, like when you post that you're available for whatever day, put your link in it. Make sure that they know that your link is in your bio. Have your link in your bio. Even if you have a link tree, have it in your bio because people need to be able to access it quickly. And I know some people are not gonna read, so they're still gonna invite you to answer those questions. I do not answer this girl questions a couple times, so she didn't text me. I post on Snapchat and she'll, swipe up on almost every nail and say how much how much how much even if she hadn't booked i had one girl who hadn't booked me and she had been writing me for months finally she came and booked with me you know she spent her money with me getting her nails and you just got to be willing to you know respond and, and get yourself out there if you don't then people are not gonna book with you i don't know how i can't i can't stress that enough so yeah so promote and remember your clients and offer loyalty cards those are some ways for you to stay booked up okay I feel like if you can make 40 appointments a month, depending on how much you make, I mean, depending on how much you charge, because some people can do less than that if you charge more than that. I charge based on my area that I live in and my bills that I know I have and just everything. Because I know people are like, oh, you shouldn't charge based on your lifestyle. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. Because people who go get nine to fives, they don't want $12 an hour. They want $18 an hour. So they're going to go and get the job that supports their lifestyle. Same thing you're doing if you're a nail tech or a hairstylist or whatever. So don't let nobody discourage you from that aspect. Charge what you are. Charge what you need to charge to make your ends meet for yourself, to make sure you can do more for yourself. But that is all I have for you guys today. I'm so glad that, you know, you guys really liked my last video. Um, if you would like for me to make more of these, let me know because technically I guess this is like a little nail one-on-one -on -one series or whatever entrepreneurship series but you guys I enjoy making these videos for y'all I like you know talking and stuff like that so that's pretty much it the next video I have for y'all will probably be just my full journey of how I went through as getting started in nail school and stuff like that because I got some nail school stories y'all but that's about it so I really appreciate you guys for tuning into this video and I will see you guys in my next one